Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Starting out headed back to Florida. So we are on the road. We're not too far away. We're about an hour away from home and we stopped for lunch at Sonic. We are going to have a little bit of lunch and I thought I would vlog just a little bit of it because they have a couple new menu items and they look really fun. Okay, so we just got our food and to start off, uh, they have new broccoli cheddar tots. So just looks like a tot. We're gonna see and so I'm gonna we're gonna try it with ranch and then without. So let's try it without. Really good. Nice flavor. Uh, creamy on inside, crunchy on the outside. I like it. Actually, I like it better than the normal tots. It's pretty good. Let's try it with some ranch. Also really good. Really doesn't need ranch. Those are good. I, like I said, I prefer them over the normal tots. Okay, and the second thing is a fried cookie dough bite. Still really hot. It's almost like burning my fingers. And it comes with the cutest little cup of ice cream which is also now considered a wag cup so you can get this for your for your pet yeah it's just like a little cup of ice cream so i'll try uh i'll try this cookie dough with and without the ice cream it's pretty good definitely has almost kind of a artificial taste to it like uh i mean that in the way like whenever you eat cookie dough from the store that you can just eat the cookie dough because it doesn't have the eggs in it that's what like this cookie dough tastes like which makes sense because it's not all the way cooked i think ice cream is going to make it like a lot better with ice cream it's really good if the broccoli cheddar tots i'd give them like a six out of ten i would give this cookie dough with ice cream eight out of ten it's pretty it's pretty good especially for fast food dessert which is usually really lacking we're going to finish our lunch here and then get back on the road. Tip used to work at Sonic and their best deal here is uh, their quarter pound burger. It's really good. It has like a double patty and you can customize it to have just as much stuff as like the normal supersonic like cheeseburger. It's a little while later now and I stopped at Starbucks. My go-to order is a uh, tall or grande blonde flat white. Always blonde. Really like the blonde espresso there. So yeah, I just wanted to do the normal after yesterday's adventures trying the fall drinks. Watch last week's vlog if you want to find out what I thought of them. Okay, we're going to get back on the road. Okay, so we just stopped uh, North Atlanta to have some dinner before we checked into our hotel. We're about 25 minutes from our hotel. It's on the south side of Atlanta. So uh, this place was called like Blue Moon Pizza. And it was pretty good. It was quite the vibe inside. Really liked the atmosphere of it. Uh, prices were good. Pizza was cooked really well. I would order something different next time. We had cheeseburger pizza. It was okay, but the red sauce I thought was just kind of bland. It didn't have a whole lot of flavor. We actually ended up adding a little bit of salt to it and that helped. But I can't remember if I've ever even had to add salt to pizza. It's not very common. So it's very odd, uh, but all the ingredients were fresh and the dough was amazing. The dough, it, like the crust, was a 10 out of 10. It was a thin crust pizza, but the bottom was cooked all the way through and crispy. You hardly ever find that. The pizza overall that we had, I would rate maybe a 5 out of 10. But the restaurant, I would average that out and probably rate them like a solid 8. I would come back. Check it out if you're in the area. Just got into our hotel for tonight. Uh, we're actually in a 
Holiday Inn Express, which actually is our chain of choice if we're just like kind of traveling through for like one night. They're pretty consistent and reliable and clean uh, and affordable. So um, just give you just a really brief room tour. It's a pretty basic room. Uh, I mean, this is what I would consider a budget hotel. I think I almost like it better so far than our place that we stayed coming through last week. So big sink area, really nicely lit in here. Um, shower, Dove products in the shower, which is nice. Uh, I will say it has been impeccably clean here, which in Atlanta is kind of hard to find. I don't know what it is, but like I've stayed in a lot of dirty hotels here in Atlanta. Uh, there is security out in the parking lot, and that's nice, too. Uh, fridge, Keurig, microwave, um, K-cups, all you could want. Then, you know, basic bed area, really, really well lit in here. That's great. Uh, we got a king that's good. How's that lounge over there? Pretty comfortable. And, um, Pretty Woman's on TV, so that's great. We've got a big desk area, lots of nice light, and decent storage. Really all you could, you know, want. And it's a Friday night and we paid about 140. I haven't paid like south of 200 for a hotel in maybe since the beginning of the vid. So pretty great. I'll take it you know, might be our go-to hotel passing through Atlanta. I am going to go to bed and I will, of course, see you tomorrow. Good morning or afternoon. It is around noon and we, uh, we slept great last night in the hotel. Really recommend that Holiday Inn Express. It's a really good one. Uh, okay, but now we need a little pick-me-up, so we are going to get Cuban food at, uh, this place off, uh, exit 399, so we're about a couple hours from Orlando, and we're gonna see, this place has, like, great reviews, pretty excited. Okay, done with lunch. It was really good. We, I actually think we'll stop here again. That's how good it was. Uh, 10 out of 10. Service was fantastic. Food was really good. Highly recommend the beef empanadas uh, with the ground beef. We had a turkey sandwich. It was good. It was different. Uh, I would order something else. I'd probably order just a nor normal Cubano, but it was good. Now we have just a couple more hours and we'll be home. All right, so we're back home. It's probably about like four o'clock or so, roughly. Uh, we unpacked a little bit and then we're actually headed out to our favorite brewery. It's called Dead Words. And it's pretty close to like downtown Orlando. Uh, if you're in downtown Orlando, I highly recommend it. I cannot say enough good things about it. They have truly the best beer. Like everything they brew is just really amazing. And the recipes are based on old recipes. That's why it's called like Dead Birds. Uh, but they have an Oktoberfest out and we don't want to miss that. We're going to head over and have a drink and plan our week. Okay, we got here. It's really, it's really busy, but it is a Saturday afternoon. So of course it is. We, a lot of times we go like during the week and it's dead, which is nice. Here's their like beer menu. I got the bridge. Brad got their Oktoberfest. So, right here. And right here. The only thing that I don't like about this place is this is so minor is that their bar has these lights that are as bright in real life as they seem on camera. It's pretty annoying as you sit here. I mean, they're meant to do this, which is gorgeous, but then you also have to lift your beer up to drink it. So, you know, downfalls. They do have a pizza oven. It's great. 
And they have this fun board. Yeah, love it in here. It is Sunday. Um, I'm sure I have a little bit of brunch footage. We had Cafe Linger. Uh, it's good. Uh, always really like it. Uh, Brad had avocado toast and I had, oh, I had chicken and waffles. So pretty good. Uh, coffee's fantastic there too. Um, we actually always start Sundays with brunch if we can at all. And then um, I cleaned the Airbnb. It was really dirty. Uh, so that took quite a while. Uh, and then I picked up my Walmart order of groceries. So we've been going on for two months at this point since we got like real groceries. So we were out of everything. So big Walmart haul here that I'm just gonna blaze through. Uh, it was roughly $250. That should last us um, a week's worth of dinners and two weeks worth of lunches. Plus like extra desserts and little snacks in between. In no particular order, I got like this like notebook. I think I like lost my other one. Um, it's really nice, really like this is hard and it's like really, really nice. It has like a calendar inside of it on the, on the sides here. So that's really nice. You got like lentil pasta and protein pasta and some like rice and uh, Two things of chicken, this was a substitution, so I would never order chicken like this, so don't come for me. Um, but it was substitution, so it's fine. And a little bit of like lettuce, it looks a little sad, but it's fine. And Parmesan cheese. Plumber's putty because Brad is going to fix the garbage disposal. That's fantastic, and by fix I mean replace. Um, I've been having like eye pain. I'm hoping like this is going to like help. I'm not really sure what's like wrong. Uh, and then just wipes, Febreze. Uh, these were on like clearance. I love the like fall scents. So I got mum and acorn spice uh, and then some like house wash. You here in Florida you almost need to like wash the outside of your house probably every couple months. Then for like desserts um, I have some sugar-free pudding. I'll mix this with Greek yogurt and some chocolate chips and some like protein bars. Never tried these. They're probably going to be nasty, but I'm kind of excited about them. Um, then I really wanted to try these like protein chips. So I got a couple bags of those and then my frozen just corn, uh, broccoli, and then like meatballs for lunches. Then I want to try this like protein nut milk. It's like a almond and cashew. Hopefully it's good. Got some like more rice, some more Greek yogurt. The yogurts are also like this one and um, this one. I'll mix this one with like chai seeds. I like that it's like pre-measured. This one that I mentioned is going to be mixed with probably the pudding and also the chocolate chips. and the PB2, which I got a giant thing of the PB Fit. Uh, Cheerios, standard salsa, it's gonna be for like a dinner. Uh, cottage cheese, I like it, bread doesn't. This is going to be for dinner too. Uh, cilantro, this is gonna be the limes. These are my favorite wraps, Brad doesn't like wraps. Uh, I think these are fantastic, and they are only 50 calories a wrap. That's crazy. Brown and jasmine rice blend I thought might be good. And I got this to mix with the chicken. Um, Brad eats these, like, protein waffles. And I also got this, like, salmon that looked really, really good. A uh, couple color catcher boxes. I use these and then all uh, these beans will be mixed with like this green pepper and onion and the salsa and that will be a lunch. Then have some tomatoes in here. Usually buy the ones that are like on the vine. It's actually a big bag of them. They're usually not that big. That's cool. Then a couple limes, guac, butter, cheese. This will also be for like lunch and ranch dressing. Then Brad eats these. He goes through <laughs> probably a box a week at least. 
Um, and then ground turkey. Once again, this was like a substitution. I wouldn't have like ordered this. It also replaced it with like 85 lean, which is very irritating, but we'll eat it. Um, you gotta have some food. That's probably going to be like it for the day. There's not really anything like too exciting going on. Uh, I'm probably going to film a video and maybe do some editing and uh, we gotta run to Lowe's and get a garbage disposal. But other than that, I will check in with you later in the week. Good morning, it's Monday. Just picked up some dry cleaning and I have to run to the chiropractor and a little bit later I have to run to the UPS customer ser service center to pick up a package that we missed while we were gone. So that's good, at least they have it. Turns out UPS holds a package for like five business days if they like failed to deliver it to you. So that's great, go UPS. Um, just picked up my dry cleaning, as I said, it's back there. Um, it's like, I think it averaged out to about like $12 a piece. I don't know, I guess that's like average, I, I don't know. Stuff like that always seems like more here in Orlando. Just something that comes along with like living in the city. I'm sure it would be more in like LA or New York or something. So, uh, yeah, but that's pretty well the day. It's just gonna be a little bit of an errands day. I had to finish up the Airbnb. We have a guest tonight. Um, going to be a good one. Has like 25 good reviews. So it's gonna be a good guest. It's always nice. And then I'm just gonna make dinner. I have some like chicken going in a crock pot. I think I'm just gonna make like a big, like huge uh, salad tonight. Should be pretty tasty. I'll show you what's in my like package whenever I get it tonight. Okay, as promised, here is what my package is. I sliced the edges. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. Look, isn't it beautiful? It's so Lauren Powell's drink that she made. So, well, I'm sure she didn't make it, but she clapped on it. Exciting. I'm going to be like taste testing it. I'm definitely not going to taste it right now. Well, one, it needs to be chilled, but um, I'm definitely going to be taste testing it later. Uh, maybe on like a separate actual video, I almost think. Uh, I sure hope it's good. I love her. And just to like see whether, you know, it, even if I don't like it, then I got um, this, which is like the this company that made her um, pumpkin spice drink. Um, they make seltzers, and so I got a taste test of those. And the flavors are really interesting. Mint lime, I think I'd love that. I love mint. Uh, ginger lime, orange pineapple, and raspberry lemon. So I'm excited about this too. But we'll, we'll see how, uh, how each of those are. Happy Wednesday. I'm actually getting ready to run to Aldi's because it's advent calendar release day. So fingers crossed that I'm going to find some like fun advent calendars. They've been like advertising them, them like crazy. So hopefully I find some and I thought I'd take you along. Okay, so they have a couple chocolate ones. This one's great. Look how pretty it is. It's uh, $8.99 and then this one's only $1.49. There's like 24 chocolate figurines in it. It's like, how can you go wrong? How fun is that? Also, these guys are pretty great. $25, I don't think that's bad considering how big they are. And then they have like, these, these like trucks and stuff, which I don't know if it's gonna sell in Florida, but maybe. Okay, I got super excited for these like milk jug candles. I mean, $4.99 and like how cute are these? But they smell like nothing. Also, the candle starts like way low. I mean, they just, they smell like nothing. So I think I'm gonna get like one. I think this one smells the most like something. It smells okay. Also, I think this is kind of cute. Um, I think it's like a nice kind of vintage graphic. $4.99, this is gonna make like the cutest holiday base after I like burn it. Okay, so all these has wine advent calendars and hard seltzer advent calendars and beer advent calendars. I'm gonna do the beer and also the wine. I'm gonna pair the wine with a cheese advent calendar. 
you would like to see me unbox all of these, then you should go follow me on Instagram. Okay, so I'm back from the store and I thought I'd haul this in my car because it's all going all over the place. So I got a wine advent calendar and then I'm gonna pair that with the cheese advent calendar as it suggests to do. Uh, and then I got a, a beer advent calendar and then I got this cute little snowman. I didn't show him to you. He's like one of those melting hot chocolate little snowmans. He is the cutest. So cute. Um, and then I got like this. It was uh, $10. It lights up. I think it's really, really cute. I've always wanted a countdown and this one really spoke to me. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, I got these little German cookies. They sound really good, but they're actually probably destined for like a charcuterie board at some point in the next couple months. And then I think you guys seen this. This is a chocolate advent calendar. This one was $8.99. I seen another one that was by this brand that was like fancier for $16, but I feel like it was like the same brand. And I was like, I don't know, are the chocolates really gonna be like that much better? But the the box was like fancy, but then I just feel bad like throwing the box away. So, you know, this will do. Also, um, this is really like, this is the number one one that I went for. Uh, you know that I'm kind of like, kind of candle crazy. And so this one has 24 different candles in it. I think it was like 30, but if you do the math, it's still like really a steal. I think it's like really pretty. I haven't opened it yet, but really 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 excited about that and then I got this one little candle it goes in these size candles go in a holder that I have and this cinnamon latte smells divine so I just wanted to wrap up this vlog thanks for joining me uh, I'll have a new vlog next Friday uh, should be Black Friday so it's gonna be a little bit of a short Black Friday haul um, and then we're gonna roll right into vlogmas so make sure you're subscribed thanks for joining me bye